tonight from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Dallas Cowboys. send this one away and we will not get a run back here to start it's a touchback and it will come out to the 25 so the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time and it is their now 30 year old quarterback Dak Prescott who leads the way and how about the toughness of Dak Prescott we see it all the time on the field and remember when he had that serious ankle injury would he return to form Boy, did he ever, and he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Play action now, Prescott. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Or are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early. And they pick up a quick first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys. It's Tony Pollard. Man, he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Third and eight. Prescott now from the 50. That is incomplete. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, and I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. 
Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard the line. Not too bad. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 15. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. We often give credit to the O-line there, two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. He'll find his rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. And he'll be taken down right away up near midfield at the 47. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Goff now looking to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 48-yard line, here's a second and four. St. Brown in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Third down and six. From the 50, it's golf. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do, what do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going because if so, they're hard to deal with and it makes for a long evening. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Now a first down throw, golf. That's to the tight end, Laporta. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence, and he doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game, and who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. We're scoreless after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Second down incompletion. They'll come up now against a third and six. To throw is gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. Patterson's kick is good, and the Lions are going to take a 3 0 lead. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three, maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Shh. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Prescott. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A well executed 22 yard gain. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer, 
and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On the jet sweep, they get this to Cooks. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 16 more on that one and another first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Prescott to throw it. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Aleem McNeil collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Throw it. Prescott under pressure, and they got to him again. Ali McNeil. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Prescott now. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. Call it a gain of a yard. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. First and ten, golf. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Mozzie Smith, he fought through to record the sack. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall, and they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. From the end zone, Goff. He's got right on the short throw. And he is out up around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on third. Goff. Able to find the open man. That 
that's complete. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Goff now looks to throw. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Again, golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. A big play there for Detroit, 44 yards. Oftentimes now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. To the air again, gone. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Goff now to throw. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Prescott looks to throw on first. 
And Cooks hands it over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First and ten here, and you know if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in there by Cooks. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. Scott off play action. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. After the interception, here's Goff. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Second and 10. Back to throw, Goff. Go oh, batted at the line and intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the Cowboys are in great shape here as they take over at their 46 yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Ferguson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to three. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen, go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And not 
wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Guy. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Khalif Raymond now. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and ten. Here's gone. Throw left side caught by Laporta. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, golf. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Trailing here. 
in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Golf. And that one too wide and incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Second and ten. There's gone. That's complete to the Porta. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions at a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Going back to Gibbs on first down. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. Play action. It's gone. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Osa Odegizua with the effort there to earn the sack. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Keep 
from the gun. Gibbs will get it. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eating up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. They'll run with Montgomery. But he lost six there on the first down play. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. A shotgun snap for Goff. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. But well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Now Goff on third and goal. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Well, that's a down and distance coach is always talking about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Looking for the out route here, and he's got Cooks. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Prescott. And that's complete to Cooks. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Just more of the same here. There's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. 46, boy, 46. Here's Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he's brought down. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. decision to make on the conversion down seven but first things first they need to score as they come up on first and goal Pollard he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way that really sets him back a loss of six that's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft 
and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. In your face. Now Prescott. Oh no, he lost the football. And the Lions have recovered. I know one thing, the team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. Yeah, in the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They get the crucial turnover just huge, but now they've got the football deep in their own territory, and you got to be careful because if you give it right back, there goes your lead. Have to be extremely happy with their defense. They received a gift, that takeaway. Even though they're deep in their own territory, now they have the football. And you know there's always that alpha on defense, that grouchy guy. Forget what the coaches said. I'll guarantee you, he told the quarterback, we just took care of you, now you take care of us. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you know me, partner, I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. First down, gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From the 31, here's second and a couple. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. It was Osa Odigizawa on the tackle. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Up 
the middle. It's Montgomery. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he will have a Lions first down, and that's the one that should seal a victory. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. should put a conclusion to this one. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, to play their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.